Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing. I am China, owner of Presto and Press. And today I will be doing an actual set. I'm an actual human being. Yes, I am an, a nail tech as well. Not just I don't just do press on nails. So um as a disclaimer, the very first video, I did not, I repeat, I did not do her original set. This is from a salon called Florida Nails. So I took off the first um, layer of that thick ass gel that they put on that girl nails. And they'll put the gel on so damn thick that they won't even have the customer realize that the acrylic is real thin as well. But you will see, if you stay tuned to the entire video, you will see how I transform this monstrosity of what you call nails um from her prior set i took all of that off and i blended it in i make sure that nothing is lifting because as you can see i have to take some shit that's lifting off <laughs> and um i uh use my sanding band it is a zebra sanding band if i'm not mistaken i want to say it's a hundred hundred sanding band um it's a hundred grit sanding band and i use that to actually loosen up the acrylic and then i go back i put an indentation you may not be able to see it but i put an indentation so where i can actually cut it off and where it's lifting up from and um i just drill the rest of it down and i make sure that there's nothing else that's lifting on her nails um, I did tell the customer that, you know, I am not liable or responsible if her nails pop off due to me not doing the original set. So she's okay with that. And um, uh, literally, I do not speak to my customers when I'm doing their nails. I give them a little basic conversation. Hey, how you doing? And I keep it moving. I barely speak when I'm working because that makes my time go by a lot faster and i'm not stopping and going because i talk with my hands so i'm not stopping and going stopping and going trying to talk and have a conversation i just work and then at the end of the con at the end of the session of me doing your nails if you still want to engage in the conversation we can engage however if you don't and you want to leave that's cool too but i don't talk like that with my customers we're here to do nails and that's it i i'm not trying to befriend anyone we can socialize hey how you doing you know blase squase this and that but as far as having a full-fledged conversation hey girl how your kids doing how many you got and then you know that's about it like i don't engage in a full-fledged conversation because that takes time you know to to stop and work and uh-uh i'll be on the schedule i got shit to do because after I'm done with her nails, I'm taking my children out to eat. So, no. I don't, you know, that's just to cut the time out. That, that's just for me not having no excuses of why I'm behind. Or why it took me two hours to do this lady nails when it normally takes me a whole hour to do her fucking nails. So, you know, if when you guys are doing nails, limit yourself from the conversation. It's not being rude. It's not being rude at all. As a matter of fact, your customer may respect you more for not holding a conversation and letting her ass fall asleep while you do your fucking job. And then she can go ahead and go. After you done doing your job, she can leave or y'all can sit there and have a conversation, however the case may be. But I can't walk and chew gum. So I'm not going to sit here and set myself or my customer up for a longest sense of stay when she only had a time limit. Shit, the bitch could be going, she could be going to work after she leave me. She might have to go and, you know, do some shit that she really have to do. So that's why I do not, that's another reason why I don't talk while I'm doing nails. Because customers have things to do. The tech has shit to do too. So to limit all of that, guess what I do? I don't talk. I just do them damn nails. And I keep it moving. And once I'm done with everything, and she like her nails and everything, and if you got a few more minutes, then we can sit down and talk. But other than that, mm -mm, not while I'm working. Not while I'm working. I'm just being real with y'all. But, however, I forgot to let you guys know that I do prime my customers. And it's my, I'm gatekeeping. This is my secret ingredient. 
um, this is one of the reasons why my nails last a month, a month and a half, two months without needing a fill-in because of this primer. It's a like 10 in one primer. And um, I'm not going to get into specifics, but y'all, when I do put it out there, just be prepared to buy the shit. Uh, that's all I got to say. Just be prepared to buy it. Because when this lady come back, I'm going to show y'all. I'm, I promise you, I'm going to come back with a video. Pay attention to what I'm doing to her nails. Because when she come back, I'm going to do the video. And I'm going to show y'all how long her nails been on. And how they, you know, my uh, my primer is the main reason why they last that long. Because I invest. It's called an investment. You invest in yourself so you can reap the benefits of it throughout the whole entire situation not only as a nail tech do you want the money but you want your name to ring bells you want your name to be in the city wherever you live you want your name that when somebody said oh my god let me see who did your nails and that person tell them that person that she's telling it to you want that person to book an appointment with you or when you post your work you want everybody who's following you to see your nails and they know why they want to come and get your nails they nails done by you because you the baddest so don't ever forget that, that when you're doing nails, you rate yourself up to being the baddest and the best fucking nail tech. Because if you do not do that, how do you expect for the next motherfucker to do it if you don't do it yourself? I have my flaws. I have shit that I can't get over. But guess what? You have to instill your confidence. You can't expect for somebody to come out from the street and instill anything in you. You have to sit there and say, I am the best at this shit. And I'm going to give it my fucking all. Because this is how I make my money. This is how I make my shit. You know, this is how my world go around. You don't have to beg nobody. You don't have to sit there and ask a bitch for anything. Because guess what? You're making your money for doing what you love. You're doing what you love and you're making money at the same time. So don't think that, you know, you have to go out there and ask people this and that or beg people to help you pay a bill or, you know, none of that shit. As long as you have the same 24 hours in a day and as long as you do what you got to do with your talent and your God-given gift, then make that shit work. So you don't ever have to sit down and ask a bitch for nothing because at the end of the day, you are responsible for you. You are responsible for the children you bring into this world. Don't sit there and, and contemplate on shit that you cannot change. Every day, every night, I ask the Lord to please provide me the patience and bless me with the patience for the things that I cannot change. Because there's some shit that I can't change that's out of my fucking hand. So, one of the things that's out of my hand is making someone think and realize that they are the best that they could possibly be with this gift that they have. All I try to do is instill people confidence, uh, uh, not instill, I'm sorry. I try to let people see that the confidence that they have in themselves, they just have to believe that shit. They have to go out and see, okay, can't nobody do this shit better than me. And when they get that, ain't nothing else I can fucking say because they have all the confidence that they need. I did not start my nail business overnight. I did not blow up overnight. In November, no, as a matter of fact, November the 3rd, 2023, will be 20 fucking years that I've been doing nails. 20 years. And for the last three years, I have been recognized for my work. Not just by press songs, but by people all over the United States and even in another country. Because social media has put me out there. I had to put myself out there. I'm looking at everybody else's fucking nails and I'm like, why I'm not on this board? Why I'm not on the For You page? I've never, ever, ever in my life had more than a thousand of anything. And if you go to my TikTok, Press 2 and Press LLC, I got damn near 20,000 followers. Y'all know how excited I am? Although some of my videos don't get any views past a thousand. But guess what? I still got it. Because I had to instill that confidence inside of me. I'm going to sit there and keep looking at other bitches shit and be like, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Child, please. I sit and I get them same fucking colors and I make it my own. Because I know I am the best at what I do. So if you feel the same, 
Be the fucking best at what you do and don't let nobody take that from you. That is the that is like the only thing a bitch can't take from you is your fucking confidence. So to my people who are watching and listening. Don't let nobody steal your motherfucking joy, especially for something that you were born with. It was given to you. Don't let nobody sit there and tell you you can't do it. Because when they tell you that, your ass better be the one to say, all right, bitch, I can't do it for you. But I damn sure can do it for someone, somebody else. And I'm being so fucking serious. So thank you all for who's watching and listening to me. And if, I, if you take anything from him, you take anything from me. I always tell my students when I teach class, stop overthinking and stop underestimating. The two things that you must stop doing, stop overthinking and stop underestimating. Because once you overthink, where the fuck is it going to go? Once you underestimate, where is it going to go? You're going to sit back and be like, man, I can't do this shit. You're going to sit back and be like, I can't, I can't, I can't. But yet, you don't even know your own fucking potential. Get your ass up and do what it is that you need to do. Because we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What do you choose to do with your 24 hours? That's your business. But don't be crying on social media talking about, oh, I want clientele. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. No, ma'am. You need to stop underestimating yourself and stop overthinking about everything. So that's the that's that's my message to you. Thank you all for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next upload.